Welcome to my world. This is Let Us Eat. Welcome back to my channel. We're going to talk about hydrogen peroxide again. Unusual uses for it. Some you may know, some you may not know. This little bottle is a great thing to have within your home. Hydrogen peroxide. There are all kinds of great uses for it. This video is going to talk about more frugal ways to use hydrogen peroxide within your home. And we're going to start with laundry and brightening your white. Brighten your whites in your laundry with two capfuls of hydrogen peroxide. Anatomy, you see a phone, hair brushes, toothbrushes to the right, controllers, a cutting board, and a toaster. I'm going to add some of the peroxide to the bowls and take care of the brushes and toothbrushes and get them deep cleaned. And then with a cloth, just a little dab of hydrogen peroxide. I'm going to wipe down this old phone that I use for props. Wipe down with a light, damp cloth on your controllers. And then finally, the toaster and the cutting board. And just about two tablespoons in the bowl is all you're going to need. I'm going to put them in with a brush into the water. I'm going to do one brush at a time. You're going to take your clean cloth make sure you get it wet and you wipe down your devices and controllers. Rather than going out and buying sanitary wipes if you're all out, go ahead and just wipe them down. Then you can wipe down your surfaces with it when we're done. Now we're going to take care of the toaster. Just wipe down this part of it. I never think to clean these, to be honest with you. You can deep clean your door of your fridge, do a hydrogen peroxide vinegar rinse in your coffee maker, wipe out your air fryer, your Instapot, and your crock pot. Here's the brush, all nice and sanitized. And the toothbrushes, every 90 days, discard them and get a new one. You can get a five-pack of name brand toothbrushes at the Dollar Tree. Not all five-packs are name brands. Keep that in mind. They have different styles and types. And this brush is nice and clean and disinfected. Bag, I have three parts dish soap, three parts water. I'm going to add in some hydrogen peroxide. And we're going to clean our shower head, and I'll show you how. Make sure you zip it as you take it to the bathroom so you don't spill out. There is a bag on my shower head. I'm going to let it sit for a few hours. My husband and I shower in the morning. My children shower in the evening, the night before school. And that is Ajax dish soap that I use. You can use any brand you have on hand. I'll make sure I put exactly what I put into the bag in my description box. Check out our Clean With Me players list. Here's the bag over the shower head. I'll be honest with you, I rent, so I've never done a deep clean on it. 
just spray it when I clean the tub. I clean the tub twice a week off camera. And that is what it looks like. And look at all the dirt coming off of it. Clean your surfaces. This little bottle is amazing. Stockpile it. Next time I go to the Dollar Tree, I'm picking up a few more. They have it at Walmart too for around the same price. But depending on where you are, pick it up and don't drive out of your way, especially today. What great ways to use hydrogen peroxide in your home from taking care of your plants, brushing your teeth, mouthwash. Cleaning your shower head and whitening your brights. All great ideas and frugal ways to use it within your home. Do you clean your poops for the bath? You should. These just drip dry, but that's not good enough. So what I'm going to do is pour some hydrogen peroxide on them and let them soak in the, the water for a little while, and then we'll hang them back up. Just one cap full is all it takes. And just kind of squeeze them. That way you sanitize them. You can also toss them in the wash with your undergarments if you want. But I would do it on delicate so they don't fall apart. And never throw them in the dryer. The dryer would fry them. Always best to air dry them. And every three to six months, toss them out. Especially after you've been sick, like a toothbrush. Easily picked up at Walmart and Dollar Tree. For this video, thank you for watching me. When we get to 1,500, we're going to issue out two $10 Dollar Tree gift cards. We're looking for 13 more people to give out one five items price pack from the Dollar Tree valued at $625. The rules are you need to be subscribed. You need to be a U.S. resident. If you're new, your rule is comment. Get to become a part of our growing community. We're very friendly here. Rules apply to both giveaways. If you won in the past 60 days, you're not qualified. If you don't answer me within two days, I'm still waiting for... Liz BYRD to get a hold of me because they won a ten dollar gift card when we reached one thousand four hundred. We're about seventy five away from the next giveaway. How exciting! And that is because of you guys. Thank you so much. Let's get my watch time hours to over three point zero. We're at two point seven, and I can't thank you enough for that. That is huge for my channel. Getting back up to forty k views. I so appreciative of all of you. Thank you for watching.